30th and last day of Veda. Oh, sad. I mean, I was being a bit histrionic when I began that sentence, but I'm actually a little sad to see Veda go. I also feel weird because I've only made a video sort of not even barely every other day for the past several days. It's like if you were running a race and you just kind of walked for the last, like, quarter of a mile or something. That's sort of how I feel. It's a bit weird. And it's super dark in here. It's very dark. Oh, and I am wearing pink today in honor of the 10th anniversary of Mean Girls. I've been seeing a poster on Tumblr for maybe actually a couple of years, possibly, saying that the entire world should wear pink today to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Mean Girls. And I do everything Tumblr tells me to, so pink shirt. Anyways, since it's the last day of Veda, I just kind of wanted to talk, you know, wrap things up, get a little bit of closure. This month wasn't a huge month in my life. In past Vedas, I've graduated college, I've moved out of my apartment slash become nomadic. I mean, my April 30th video last year was recorded in my empty apartment. So this was a relatively low-key month. Actually, probably the most low-key April I've had, like, since preschool or something. All that really happened, I took two trips, I got a new driver's license, I didn't get a haircut, though I probably should have. That'll happen soon. But as far as videos go, I had a lot of fun making the Reviews Day Tuesday video. I think I might maybe do some more of those for future Reviews Day Tuesdays. I also really liked starring in Paul DeGeorge's new how-to series. Hopefully that'll continue. And I really just had a lot of fun like telling stories and talking with all of you to all of you, I mean, you respond in the comments and on social media and stuff, so I'm kinda, kinda with you. I feel like you're here in my camera right there. And I've gotta say thank you to everyone who supported this new channel experiment, especially Karen Cavett and Matthew Gatos, who both plugged this channel in their own videos, and Lauren Fairweather, who's always one of my best supporters. I am definitely going to continue posting videos on this channel, especially because I'm still trying to figure out how to balance Will It Waffle with non-waffle videos on my main channel. At this point, more than half of my subscribers are there for Will It Waffle, and I... Uh, Duh. I don't want that channel to just be waffles, so I'm working on the best way to create a balance without disturbing waffle viewers too much. But until then, if you see anyone around who enjoys my main channel, I'm acting like the internet is like a high school hallway or something. If you see anyone around walking by your locker, they're talking about my channel, flag them down before geometry class. Let them know to come to this other channel during study hall for some good old-fashioned vlogs. Anyways, I am really excited for May. As much as I love Veda, it's always a bit like a marathon, so, you know, a lot of things get put off. I don't do a lot of things, and I'm just really excited to get back on track in May. I only have one trip planned for all of May, which is like a big deal for me. Being a spokesperson's no joke, guys. Lots of traveling. But anyways, hopefully I'll be spending a lot of time just getting ready for this summer, getting back in shape because I didn't go to the gym at all, basically, during VEDA, and taking some time to hang out with friends and indulge in some of my hobbies before the mad rush of conference season really kicks off in June. Which, speaking of, just as a heads up, I will be at VidCon and LeakyCon, absolutely for sure, and possibly I will be at DragonCon and uh, hopefully San Diego Comic-Con as well. Everywhere I go, I will be selling Will It Waffle buttons for a dollar, so you can come get one of these if you see me anywhere. While I'm plugging the heck out of things, just another reminder that the documentary that I was working on during Veda last year is starting to premiere in cities across the U.S. You can go to documentedthefilm.com to see if it'll be playing near you. It opens May 2nd most places, I believe, and it'll also be playing on CNN sometime this summer. So go see that. It's an excellent, excellent film by Jose Antonio Vargas about immigration reform. And it's just really good. And I can say that because I didn't really have anything to do with the final cut of the film. So when I saw it the first time, I was just like, oh my gosh. What else can I plug? Now that I'm plugging things that I do, uh, there will be a couple of new Harry Potter Alliance videos coming up this month. We've got three that I'm working on right now, just sort of been waiting for Veda to end to really work on those. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the Harry Potter Alliance on YouTube. That's, that was like my half-assed way of pointing at things. Why do we always point down when we talk about, here's a link, go to the comments. I mean, I get why we do, but like, it's starting to get a little awkward, guys just doing this all the time. But yeah, make sure you're actually following the Harry Potter Alliance on like all social media, cause that's kind of what I do with my day. So you know, if for whatever reason you're mildly entertained by me, follow the Harry Potter Alliance, cause that's usually me as well. And that's really about it. Man, fate is over guys. Oh, I think it was a good year. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I didn't end up watching too many other people's Vedas. I think I might catch up on some. You know, now that I have a little bit of spare time, I can sit down and catch up on a whole bunch of YouTube and television and books and everything in my life. 
lots of things. I'm gonna catch up on so many things. It's gonna be so exciting. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of April was. Not like from my Veda, that's, that's, that's weird. I mean, like of your life. What was your favorite thing that happened in your life in Veda? Or what are you most excited about coming up in May or this summer? Well, I guess I'm gonna go now. It's scary to say goodbye after all this. Been seeing each other almost every day for 30 days. But all good things must end. And all mediocre things must end as well. Which is why we must end this Veda. And we shall close this video with the traditional Veda hymn sung by Saint Justin Tim it's gonna be May.